All right, so what's up, y'all? Uh, today we are out here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I know it's been a while since the last video, so today is more so about me just getting out, walking around, and shooting. I'm shooting with the Canon A1 program, which I have the Kodak Gold, which is rated at 200 ISO, and then with the 200 ISO, I'm gonna put it on my camera as if it's 100, so every photo that I take is going to be overexposed. So yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in. I know it's been a little while, so I do appreciate the fact that y'all are still here, and let's get to it. All right, and we're here to our first spot of the day. So as soon as we're leaving, I just kind of like the colors, the blue and the orange, you know, they're opposites. And I thought I can try to do something with the sky and it's kind of like a weird spot with the 50 millimeter. But if you listen close enough to the, the shutter sound, it kind of sounds like it's telling us something about these photos. And as I walk back, you can kind of see this, you know, this gesture of shame that I made. But we'll still show you those photos. And typically the first few photos of the day aren't gonna be the greatest, but this one is actually pretty bad. So let's try to find another spot to kind of kick things off on a better foot. And this is a pretty interesting area. A lot of graffiti, a lot of artwork, a lot of like homes that look pretty interesting. So it's a lot of good things. And this car was pretty neat. So I spent some time in front of this house, which was the greenish one and the bluish one. And you'll see a couple more of those come up. Fun fact huge car fanatic I love all types of cars and these were some of my favorite shots from the day um, it just kind of shows a little bit of the character of the area and as well as the vehicle and going on a little rant this wasn't the best day of photography for me um, it's not a bad thing but there's gonna be some days like that where you know you go out and have anything in mind you get some cool pictures like the ones of the cars I really like, but the other photos I didn't like too much. Um, but you get days like this. You can't be great every day. And the one thing about this scene right here, um, I kind of just like the, the blue color of the house. But then I like the car in front that was covered with the car cover. So I tried to capture that, but the composition was a little off. And for this photo right here, I was a little bit, you know, um, stuck on how to properly compose it. But I just kind of took it for the colors. I thought they were pretty interesting. It is hot. Right now, I'm starting to run down on the film that I got on this uh, Kodak Gold. Um, so after that, I got a couple more, like Lomograph, or I think I'm saying that right. It has like a little red hue or tint to it, so it should be pretty cool. And I apologize if I gave you all a false sense of hope regarding the special film that I was talking about because I never got to it. But what I did get to is one of my uh, favorite artists in the city of Atlanta's artwork, which is uh, pretty nice. Just finished up watching a movie. So we're here at Atlantic Station. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is trying to get a couple of night shots. I have the Fujika GW690 with the roll of Cinestill 810 here. It's only got eight shots, so we gotta make this work. We're gonna give it a try. I may get kicked out of here because this is a place where you typically can't really do too much photography, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So, second shot coming up right here. So overall, I like the feel of this photo, but there's a couple of things. Um, number one, it's underexposed. Uh, number two, um, it's very grainy, and typically I try to stay away from the grain. And number three, I didn't realize this until later after I developed it, but this camera has light leaks. So every single photo that I took with this have light leaks, sadly. And I think I was a little bit overly optimistic about what I can do um, with this camera at nighttime. Nothing against the camera, but I didn't have a stand but with the minimum aperture of 3.5, it's kind of dark. And so what I'm doing right here, I'm taking the light measurements on my phone, even though I do have a light meter, uh, for some reason, this app that I have, I think it's called My Light Meter Pro, um, actually can take measurements in lower light than my actual light meter. I mean, it's probably because I have a cheap light meter, but it's still, you know, a useful tool. And a lot of the photos that I took on the GW690 kind of came out similar to this. So I'm not going to waste everybody's time and show more photos of this. But we're going to go back into earlier in the day. And we're going to show more photos that weren't really talked about throughout the beginning portion of this video. In this section right here, uh, this was something that I just, you know, kind of took pictures at to kick the day off. 
just kind of like the bridge and then there was a lot of greenery so this is what i came up with it's a pretty cool photo i probably won't do anything with it but here's going to be some of the photos that i took throughout the day so sit back uh, feel free to comment subscribe tell me what your favorite photo was today from a bad day of photography um and even if you have bad days you can relate feel free to talk about that as well but you know thank you again for for tuning in and uh happy shooting <laughs>